Good morning, colleagues. I'm coming to you from the Central Services Building, where we hosted the November Board of Trustees meeting. It was a chilly night, but once we were tucked inside, there was a lot to accomplish. First, we held a robust constituent conversation with the Student Council on the future of work. We're continuing to look closely at how artificial intelligence is impacting the workplace, and this month our focus was engineering and construction management. There is so much evolving in those fields that the college is carefully looking at how our curricula prepares students for the world of AI, on the drafting table, and on the construction site. Speaking of curricula, several academic matters were discussed at the board meeting, including the creation of a building trade certificate and an interior design certificate. As always, the college is responding to student needs and market demand for targeted skill sets so that we can respond with outstanding offerings just like these. We also discuss updating the Network and Information Technology AAS with a new program titled Cloud Computing and Networking Technology AAS to reflect a new focus on on-demand cloud computing, particularly with Amazon's move to the Arlington, Virginia area. The board also approved a resolution to name the Finance Lab in memory of Gordon and Marilyn Macklin, the Macklins have been generous supporters of the college, and I'm thrilled to have a permanent reminder of their support. And finally, the board approved the FY21 capital budget and the six-year capital improvements program. And I know we all appreciate the board's attention to the college's facilities needs, balancing needed updates with the construction of new buildings, such as the Leggett Building at the Tacoma Park Silver Spring Campus. Now, as you may have heard at the town hall, Moody's Investor Service issued its annual comment on the college's debt rating, and it remains at an A triple A with a stable outlook. Moody's noted the college's strong support from the county, healthy, flexible reserves, and liquidity relative to debt is important. It also noted that our reserves have increased in the last two years as operating performance has strengthened. On top of that, Moody's pointed out to our enrollment strategies as a stabilizing force, crediting the expansion of early college and our intense focus on student success. Strong fiscal stewardship is a priority for the Board of Trustees, and the Moody's report shows that we are on the right track. Now, finally, I couldn't end without bragging about a personal accomplishment. Two weeks ago, I competed in the pancake battle fundraiser for Generation Hope, and my maple bacon pancakes recipe was voted the winner. Yep. Supporting young college students who are also parents through Generation Hope is very close to my heart, but doing so at the pancake competition made it even more fun. I'm also pretty sure they lost some money on Miles. I'm just going to put that out there. Now, I hope that you enjoyed some of your own specialties at Thanksgiving and had a wonderful, restful break. And I'll see you again very soon. Take care and be well.